My journey started about six years ago when I had this issue. I was walking into Walmart and I thought a bug flew into my right eye. It didn't clean up that evening and the next day I was at my son's church. He uh, said that there, he had his eye doctor there and the eye doctor talked to me and said, well, it could be a detached retina. Go check it out at the Huntsville Retina Center. And so I went there and they did their exams and, and the doctor said, I have good news for you and bad news for you. It's not a detached retina. Uh, we're not going to do surgery on you today, but the bad news is that you're going to probably have this for the rest of your life. And they called it central retina artery occlusion. And basically, I saw this big black dot right in the center of my, my eyesight, on my right eye, and then it was blurry around there and light just wasn't getting in. I learned about ex vita and I decided that Living in Utah wasn't going to be a problem and I'd fly out here. I got my company to agree to me working off-site. So I come here, work, go on a dive, and it started to dissipate. And I did about 20 runs on the HBOT and I, I actually did little drawings of what I saw each time that I went into the, to a dive. I was also driving and noticing that I didn't really recognize any colors when I covered my good eye and I couldn't tell whether it was green or red or, or even yellow. And then I couldn't see anything beyond the light itself and I'd be the first car. And over the process of those 20 dives, I started to see more and more and more further and further out. The doctor had told me, he says, nothing's gonna change. It's, what you see is what you get right now. Three months before I had this episode with my eye, I started painting. And so I was a hobbyist painter and my right eye is my target eye, it was my strong eye, and I'm right-handed. So I had to retrain my left eye to be my target because before I, I couldn't judge how far the canvas was away. But now, with HBOT that gave me back my depth perception, I can paint even fine detail now. Painting has been my passion for the past six years. I wore a patch over my eye because when you lose your retina, it's like sparkly all the time. And that went away during HBOT. That calmed down and, and it settled down and, and my eye adjusts and takes in whatever information it can at that point. So it improved my driving, my driving skills, my painting skills and, and my depth perception. So more people should get the hyperbaric treatments because it's gonna do you good. Oxygen in your body is a good thing. It's got healing qualities. I know that it really helps burn victims. They use it. They have now been approved in North Carolina for PTSD and, and TBI. And, you know, so veterans, I'm a veteran and I'm a retired Navy pilot. I would say that anybody who has this retinal ocular occlusion, that they get some hyperbarics and get it right away. Because they say that, you know, it takes 48 to 72 hours and the cones aren't coming back. If I had gotten in there right away, who knows what would have happened. And it might have saved my eyesight. You don't know what's happening. It's kind of an unusual thing. It could be a detached retina, kind of similar symptoms. But for this particular thing, I would say do some more studies. It certainly helped me. I am a testimony to that.